Hey folks, Chris here with Head Count. Today's head scratcher is going to deal with the periodic testing of emergency lighting. Much like the monthly inspection of fire extinguishers, the periodic testing of emergency lighting is both an easy test and an easily overlooked one. The purpose of these tests is to ensure proper lighting in case of an emergency or in a power failure. I can't tell you the number of times I've heard stories of facilities being plunged into darkness due to unmaintained and untested emergency lights. A power outage is already an inconvenience. There's no need to add extra stress or liability to an injury from an unlit exit. These tests are found in the Life Safety Code, NFPA 101, Chapter 7. They've been there for years, and they apply to all facilities regardless of classification or type. So without further ado, let's conduct the monthly test on an exit sign or an emergency light. We are going to simply depress the test button, and the test is on. This button interrupts the electrical flow and changes over to battery power. The code says functional testing shall be conducted monthly with a minimum of three weeks and a maximum of five weeks between tests for not less than 30 seconds. There are some exceptions in the code for automatic testing equipment, but more often than not, you're going to find these self-test units. So there you have it, the monthly test of emergency lights and exit signs. Easy as can be but there's a couple things to keep in mind. Number one, simply pressing the button and releasing does not constitute an actual test. That only tests the surface charge on the battery. And two, you need to document the test. Telling someone you've tested it and having it documented with a report are two totally different things. The annual test is very similar, but instead of 30 seconds, an annual test requires a 90 minute functional test. Rather than simply pushing the button for 90 minutes, our inspectors generally will turn the breaker off to the system, cutting power to all the lights at once to begin the test, or insert a non-conductive tool into the test button, which allows the button to remain depressed for the entirety of the 90 minutes. I hope that helps you understand and meet the compliance requirements for periodic testing of emergency lighting. If you haven't checked this out, HeadCount provides a great way to complete, document, and store all of these tests. Whether you're looking to inspect or test 10 assets or 10,000, HeadCount doesn't blink or slow down. From inspection, testing, and maintenance of any type of asset in your facility, to unique forms with deficiency alerts automatically generated, to a robust maintenance request and work order solution. Let us show you how HeadCount can save you time, money, and especially stress. Until next time.